Fentanyl continues coming into our country at an alarming rate, and the increased supply means the pills are becoming less expensive and more accessible. The drug being seized in record numbers across the southern border, up more than 200 percent from just June to July. And Arizona is one state experiencing this influx. News Nation correspondent Ali Bradley joins us live from Phoenix. Ali, you just spoke with the state's attorney general there. Yeah, Nicole, you're exactly right. More than 2 million fentanyl pills have been seized in Arizona this month alone. That's enough to kill every person in the state, according to the state's attorney general, Mark Bernovich, who also says with those decreasing costs, it's able to get into more hands. Just one of the ways that it's getting into the country. Take a look at this. This is a pair of crutches that was actually found at the port of entry in Nogales. Inside of these crutches, they actually were flagged because they were actually heavier than normal. And a canine and an X-ray confirmed their suspicions. More than 14,000 pills were found inside of those crutches, Nicole. Now, Bernovich tells me here that he has been very vocal about everything going on at the border, and he says that it is an issue that is not staying in his state. Take a listen. And Americans are dying, and every state is a border state. And so, you know, the, the cartels have seized operational control of our southern border. And as a result of that, they're not only flooding the markets, and we see the price dropping, but they're also coming up with ways to get our kids and our nieces and nephews, um, you know, people we know, hooked. Now, Bernovich does say that he stands behind the governors who are working right now to secure their borders, like what Governor Abbott is doing by busing migrants and also using shipping containers and things like that along his border. The same thing in Arizona with Governor Doug Ducey using shipping containers to also plug up some of those holes along the border, Nicole. All right, so, Ali, how much time are, are these smugglers serving once they're actually caught? And then what happens with all of the drugs? Yeah, so while the while the attorney general does agree with what the governors are doing, he does say it's a federal government issue. And speaking of the federal government, the drugs and the smugglers end up in the hands of the federal government for them to be prosecuted. It does really depend on a myriad of things here. It depends on who the judge is going to be. It depends on how much drugs they had on them, if they had an intent to distribute. Now, if they have thousands of pills on them, it obviously isn't for personal use. It is more for that distribution. So they would face several years in prison if they got busted. And, you know, and we certainly hope that the drugs obviously would end up with the correct authorities, federal authorities here. But where else uh, are these smugglers hiding the drug? Yeah, it's really wild to see some of these ways that they're really trying to sneak these drugs in, Nicole. So we want to show you some video here from Arizona to Texas. We're seeing things like this. We're seeing trap doors. We're seeing compartments built into the bases of, of semi-truck trailers. You can see right there. Underneath the passenger seat, there are compartments that are hiding these drugs. Now, we also are seeing smugglers with thousands of pills strapped to their legs. We're seeing that happening. We're also seeing condoms being used to conceal drugs inside of their own bodies. And yes, we're seeing things like this, that candy looking like uh, fentanyl that is being distributed to what they believe is targeting a younger audience. And those drugs, those candy-like uh, pills, have actually made their way all the way up to Maine and Virginia already, according to two different police departments there. Yeah, those now, something else I, Yeah, something else I do want to mention here, Nicole, is four out of ten pills that are laced with this deadly drug actually contain at least two milligrams of this deadly fentanyl. And with that, that is enough to be deadly. And the attorney general tells me that that is equivalent to just a couple grains of salt for some perspective there. My goodness, yeah, those, those colorful uh, drugs, uh, just so scary. Okay, Allie, mm -hmm. thank you. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.